Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related deaths. Non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC, accounts for 80 to 85 percent of lung cancers. Normal signaling from epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR, promotes cell proliferation and survival. Mutations that can arise in the kinase domain have been identified as critical drivers of some NSCLC tumors, resulting in tumor growth and metastasis. Two mutations account for approximately 85% of all EGFR mutations. These are exon 19 deletions and the exon 21 mutation L858R. These two mutations also make tumors sensitive to treatment with EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitors or EGFR TKIs. Even so, patients with NSCLC inevitably experience disease progression within 9 to 13 months when treated with earlier generation EGFR TKIs. Tegriso, or osimertinib, is a third-generation, irreversible EGFR TKI with a distinct chemical structure. Tegriso is designed to inhibit both EGFR sensitizing and EGFR resistance mutations. Tegriso irreversibly and selectively inhibits the two most common EGFR sensitizing mutations, exon 19 deletion and L858R. Tegriso also inhibits EGFR T790M, a common resistance mutation. At the same time, Tegriso has lower activity against wild-type EGFR. Tegriso crossed the blood-brain barrier in preclinical models. In a clinical study, Tegriso crossed the blood-brain barrier in eight healthy humans. Indications. Tegriso is indicated as adjuvant therapy after tumor resection in adult patients with non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, whose tumors have epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, exon 19 deletions, or exon 21 L858R mutations, as detected by an FDA-approved test. Tegriso is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with locally advanced, unresectable, stage 3, NSCLC, whose disease has not progressed during or following concurrent or sequential platinum-based chemoradiation therapy, and whose tumors have epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, exon 19 deletions, or exon 21 L858R mutations, as detected by an FDA-approved test. Tegriso is indicated for the first-line treatment of adult patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, whose tumors have epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, exon 19 deletions, or exon 21 L858R mutations, as detected by an FDA-approved test. Tegriso is indicated in combination with pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy for the first-line treatment of adult patients with locally advanced or metastatic NSCLC, whose tumors have epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, exon 19 deletions, or exon 21 L858R mutations, as detected by an FDA-approved test. Tegriso is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with metastatic epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, T790M mutation-positive NSCLC, as detected by an FDA-approved test, whose disease has progressed on or after EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitor, TKI, therapy. Important safety information. There are no contraindications for Tegriso. Tegriso can cause severe and fatal interstitial lung disease, ILD, pneumonitis. ILD pneumonitis occurred in 4% of the 1,813 patients treated with Tegriso monotherapy who had not received recent definitive chemoradiation therapy. 0.4% of cases were fatal. ILD pneumonitis with Tegriso in combination with pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy. In the FLORA-2 study, ILD pneumonitis occurred in 3.3% of the 276 patients who received Tegriso in combination with pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy, 0.4% of cases were fatal. ILD pneumonitis following definitive platinum-based chemoradiation therapy, CRT. In the LORA study, following definitive platinum-based CRT, ILD pneumonitis, including radiation pneumonitis, occurred in 80 of the 143 patients, 56%, 
who received tigrisomonotherapy, and 28 of the 73 patients, 38%, who received placebo. There was one fatal case, 0.7%, 3.5% grade 3, 34% grade 2, and 18% grade 1 adverse reactions of ILD pneumonitis in tigrisotreated patients. For tigrisotreated patients, ILD pneumonitis led to permanent discontinuation of tigriso in 7% of patients and dosage interruptions of tigriso in 35% of patients. Among the 46 patients who were rechallenged with tigriso, 11% had recurrence of ILD pneumonitis. In the 80 tigriso treated patients, ILD pneumonitis resolved in 40%, resolved with sequelae in 1.3%, were resolving in 16%, did not resolve in 41%, and resulted in death in 1.3%. For patients receiving Tigriso who have not received recent definitive platinum-based CRT, withhold Tigriso and promptly investigate for ILD in patients who present with worsening of respiratory symptoms, which may be indicative of ILD, e.g. dyspnea, cough, and fever. Permanently discontinue Tigriso if ILD pneumonitis is confirmed. For patients who have received recent definitive platinum-based CRT with grade 1 ILD pneumonitis, continue to grisso or interrupt and restart as appropriate. Permanently discontinue to grisso in patients diagnosed with grade greater than or equal to 2 ILD pneumonitis. Tigriso can cause heart rate corrected QT, QTC, interval prolongation. Of the 1,813 Tigriso monotherapy treated patients in clinical trials, 1.1% were found to have a QTC greater than 500 milliseconds, and 4.3% of patients had an increase from baseline QTC greater than 60 milliseconds. Of the 276 patients treated with Tigriso in combination with Pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy in the FLORA-2 study, 1.8% were found to have a QTC greater than 500 milliseconds, and 10.5% of patients had an increase from baseline QTC greater than 60 milliseconds. No QTC-related arrhythmias were reported. Clinical trials of Tigriso did not enroll patients with baseline QTC of greater than 470 milliseconds. Conduct periodic monitoring with ECGs and electrolytes in patients with congenital long QTC syndrome, congestive heart failure, electrolyte abnormalities, or those who are taking medications known to prolong the QTC interval. Permanently discontinue Tigriso in patients who develop QTC interval prolongation with signs, symptoms of life-threatening arrhythmia. Tigriso can cause cardiomyopathy, including cardiac failure, chronic cardiac failure, congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, or decreased ejection fraction. Cardiomyopathy occurred in 3.8% of the 1,813 Tigriso-treated patients. 0.1% of cardiomyopathy cases were fatal. In the FLORA-2 study, cardiomyopathy occurred in 9% of the 276 patients who received Tigriso in combination with Pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy. 1.1% of cardiomyopathy cases were fatal. A decline in left ventricular ejection fraction, LVEF, greater than or equal to 10% from baseline and to less than 50% LVEF occurred in 4.2% of 1,557 patients who had baseline and at least one follow-up LVEF assessment. In the ADORA study, 1.5%, 5 of 325, of Tigriso-treated patients experienced LVEF decreases greater than or equal to 10% from baseline and a drop to less than 50%. In the LORA study, following platinum-based CRT, 3%, 4 of 135, of Tigriso-treated patients and no placebo-treated patients experienced LVEF decreases greater than or equal to 10% and a drop to less than 50%. In the FLORA-2 study, 8%, 21 of 262, of patients treated with Tigriso in combination with Pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy, who had baseline and at least one follow-up LVEF assessment, experienced LVEF decreases greater than or equal to 10% and a drop to less than 50%. For patients receiving Tigriso monotherapy, conduct cardiac monitoring in patients with cardiac risk factors, including assessment of LVEF at baseline and during treatment. For patients receiving Tigriso in combination with Pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy, conduct cardiac monitoring in all patients, including assessment of LVEF at baseline and during treatment. Assess LVEF in patients who develop relevant cardiac signs or symptoms during treatment. For symptomatic congestive heart failure, permanently discontinue Tigriso. 
keratitis was reported in 0.6% of 1,813 patients treated with trigrisomonotherapy in clinical trials. Promptly refer patients with signs and symptoms suggestive of keratitis, such as eye inflammation, lacrimation, light sensitivity, blurred vision, eye pain, and or red eye, to an ophthalmologist. Post-marketing cases consistent with erythema multiforme major, EMM, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, TEN, have been reported in patients receiving Tegrisso. Withhold Tegrisso if EMM, SJS, or TEN is suspected and permanently discontinue if confirmed. Post-marketing cases of cutaneous vasculitis, including leukocytoclastic vasculitis, urticarial vasculitis, and IgA vasculitis have been reported in patients receiving Tegrisso. Withhold Tegrisso if cutaneous vasculitis is suspected, evaluate for systemic involvement, and consider dermatology consultation. If no other etiology can be identified, consider permanent discontinuation of Tegrisso based on severity. Aplastic anemia has been reported in Tegrisso-treated patients in clinical trials, 0.06% of 1,813, and post-marketing. Some cases had a fatal outcome. Inform patients of the signs and symptoms of aplastic anemia, including but not limited to new or persistent fevers, bruising, bleeding, and pallor. If aplastic anemia is suspected, withhold Tegrisso and obtain a hematology consultation. If aplastic anemia is confirmed, permanently discontinue Tegrisso. Perform complete blood count with differential before starting Tegrisso, periodically throughout treatment and more frequently if indicated. Verify pregnancy status of females of reproductive potential prior to initiating Tegrisso. Advise pregnant women of the potential risk to a fetus. Advise females of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Tegrisso and for six weeks after the last dose. Advise males with female partners of reproductive potential to use effective contraception for four months after the last dose. Because of the potential for serious adverse reactions in breastfed infants from Tegrisso, women should not breastfeed during treatment with Tegrisso and for two weeks after the last dose. Most common, greater than or equal to 20%, adverse reactions, including laboratory abnormalities, were Tegrisso monotherapy, leukopenia, lymphopenia, thrombocytopenia, anemia, diarrhea, rash, musculoskeletal pain, neutropenia, nail toxicity, dry skin, stomatitis, and fatigue. Tegrisso monotherapy following platinum-based chemoradiation therapy. Lymphopenia, leukopenia, ILD, pneumonitis, thrombocytopenia, neutropenia, rash, diarrhea, nail toxicity, musculoskeletal pain, cough, and COVID-19. Tegrisso in combination with pemetrexid and platinum-based chemotherapy. Leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, neutropenia, lymphopenia, rash, diarrhea, stomatitis, nail toxicity, dry skin, and increased blood creatinine. Please see complete prescribing information, including patient information, for Tegrisso, available at tegrissohcp.com.